this is kind of cool. This is from a mating hive, mating nuke, and um, they look dead. I don't think they are. I think they're in Torpor. They have food. But is this the queen? Is that the queen? That might be the queen. Might be right here too. But, um, anyway, I think this is what they call torpor, which is sort of hibernation. And, um, like any day now, they should have eggs. And I thought I saw an egg here earlier. Just one egg. Hang on. Let me hit pause. Okay, I do see an egg. Right over there. And so the question, so we're in Central Texas. We got some rather chilly weather, like down in the 30s, upper 30s. And certainly this is way too small to make it on their own. But that's okay. The whole purpose of it was to get a queen. And um, I'll make a nuke out of it. I'll get a strong hive and give them a whole bunch of, uh, well, I'll basically... Get a strong hive and split it in half and then hopefully they'll accept this queen and uh, end up with a another hive but um, I'm not positive this is torpor yeah it is yeah they're starting to move so right now it's probably in the 50s which is still kind of chilly for a bee but they're out in the nice toasty Sun And we are going to get warmer weather, so that's good for them. But poor bees. Yeah, this split I know is really pushing the limits, but I do believe they have a successfully mated queen. And I've got a couple other boxes I need to check on and make sure that they've got uh, uh, same deal. A successfully mated queen. And anyway, so that's kind of interesting thing I've never seen before yeah they show a bit chilly but they're starting to come around you can see some movement it's like a big lesbian orgy Uh, there's a possibility too. I'll make a two a two queen hive. I've done that before for really small hives, kind of help each other out. But we'll see. I don't know what I'll do. Never know what I'll, I'm going to do till I do it. All right. Looks like the queenie. If that's her, her little. Black tail start to move just now. I've never had any black bees like this guy, but I've always wanted some. There's some, like a strain called like German bees. Apparently they're kind of mean. But, um... They're also not around this area. We have our own kind of mean bees called killer bees. You can actually own killer bees. 20% are crazy mean where you don't want to keep them. But the other 8% are keepable, let's just say. You know, they're a bit meaner than average, but that's okay. They're bees. All my Pretty much all my bees are feral, so I'm not too worried about it. People are always obsessed about 
what lineage of queen they have. The way I look at it is, are they productive? Are they nice? That's all that matters. Well, hygienic behavior, that's big too, but it just, their production is what matter. I don't care about their uh, background. And she's starting to move that little queen in the middle, right about there. <laughs>